Hey guys, Tony here. Good morning. So Ada is absolutely like exploding, which would be, um, which is super fantastic. Um, because if you're part of the Patreon and you have access to the reverse MACD, you would have caught this run up pretty easily. And I think we actually talked about it on Patreon. I think, um, wait, not Coinbase. What am I doing? Um, <clears throat> I think we actually talked about this on, or somebody mentioned on Patreon that it was about to close a bullish week and it was essentially a perfect entry, right? Which was right. Oh no, it's barely going to be closing a bullish week. Barely going to be closing a bullish week. But it's it's on... Oh, so it did break this downtrend that it had from September 20th, right? So it broke to the up, to the upside. It broke resistance at 2... What is it? Broke resistance at 217-ish. So definitely would have... Actually, perfect entry would have been... Is probably going to be this week on Sunday. That's when, that's when perfect entry would be for uh, Patreon. Unless you were actually doing the actual TA then you would have gotten in at the break of, of that downtrend right here, right? This break right here. You would have probably gone in somewhere right here if you were doing TA. If you weren't doing TA and you were just relying on the weekly, then you would more than likely not get in until Sunday, I think. Sunday after it closes bullish for the week, which would be still still pretty really good entry. But yeah, I, it is doing absolutely phenomenal. It's breaking to the upside. Um, I don't know if it, I, I think it, I think it is going to possibly be seeing a uh, resistance here at two, what, two thirty ish. That's why you, yeah, that's why you see that wake up there. Right. So I think for the most part, you are going to start running, um, to the upside. Keep in mind though, you are more than likely going to see resistance at certain levels. I think for the next resistance level, you'll probably see at two fifty eight, and then at like two seventy two, I think. So there is resistance around this, around these levels. You're not going to not get resistance around these levels. I should probably do my, my, my support and resistance. This seems like super, super weird. I'm not sure why they have like all these. I guess I haven't really done that in a while. So the, the support and resistance have probably changed and I got to change them up. But you are going to more than likely see resistance on ADA at 258. And then again, pretty strong resistance around like 270-ish. I think you'll probably see really good resistance. And then the next one is going to be here at... 293 and then after that you're basically just you know it's 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 just it, you're basically just open um but yeah it is it is moving really well i think for the most part it is going to keep running for what one two three five six yeah i think it has a lot of a lot of a lot more weeks coming up that it's going to keep rallying i think it's going to rally for the next month and a half roughly it's barely going to be closing that full that that first bullish week so i'd say one two three four five i'd say on average it's probably going to keep running till like mid-december uh, that's what i probably give it to um and i think my next price target for uh for ada is going to be somewhere around the uh, somewhere along the lines of like three dollars and like 60 ish cents i think that's going to be my next price target for ada possibly by mid-december late december i think we can we can definitely see like a three dollar and, and 60 cent ada so i'll see you guys later bye bye